Mm-hmm. It's already been answered. So maybe we can go to the next one asked by the bunker. Uh, I see the bunker in the call. So the bunker, maybe you can unmute yourself and just ask directly. Hi, Z. Yeah, it was a great talk. Uh, so I just wanted to ask, like, uh, is a uh, heavy traffic optimality is a cool result, uh, but in in practice, uh, how are these two uh, policies working? Like, uh, in if it is not heavy traffic, then do you expect the performance to be better for light tailed or heavy tailed? How are they performing? Uh, that's a good question. So, um, so we uh, we haven't we haven't fully investigated this question. Basically, the way we prove uh, this heavy traffic result is we decompose uh, the K server mean response time into two terms. Uh, and one of those terms uh, stays the same no matter what K is. And the other term uh, is, and the other term is basically linear in K. Oh. And what we show is that it's basically K times K, it, we call them Q and R. So it, you basically have Q plus K times R, roughly speaking. And what we show is that in the as row goes to one, Q dominates R. So, um, so for some, in, so basically, we don't yet have a great understanding of what R uh, looks like. Um, we know that it's general, we or at least for for many cases, it's generally smaller than Q. And in particular, I believe in the light-tailed case, we expect it to be. Uh, we expect R to be pretty small. Um, uh, so for example, our heavy traffic result doesn't apply for infinite variance distributions. Um, and, but yeah, I think there's still more work to do here. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, the bunker. So next question is by Xinyu. Xinyu, you can also just ask. Oh, hi, hi, Dave. So I have a quick, quick, quick question. So basically, I noticed that the you see uh, the M uh, SERPK has a approximation uh, ratio of two uh, in the heavy traffic. So I just wondering, okay, uh, I think in the opposite way. So what's the worst uh, approximation ratio for any policy in the heavy traffic? Is it K? So compared to the GTNs one, yeah, that's my question. So that's a good question. So uh, just some context for the question uh, for those who haven't read the paper. So mm -hmm. in the talk, I addressed uh, a policy called M Gittens. Uh, in the paper, we also cover a simpler policy called M Serpt, uh, which has a simpler rank function. And we show that while it's not optimal in heavy traffic, it comes within a factor of two. And so the question is, basically, is a factor of two good? Uh, you know, what's, you know, what would we expect in a naive case? So basically, the uh, the sort of naive bound that you can, uh, I think the naive bounds you would get for, um, would be something like a factor of K and have a factor of K worse than the MG1. So for example, if you, uh, treated your MGK like a sort, like a sort of, uh, like K separate queues and, and randomly dispatched between them, this would be a bad policy, but that would come within a factor of K. So this is telling us that you know a good result certainly looks better than a factor of k, and indeed a factor of two is much better than a factor of k. Uh, does that answer your question? Yes, exactly. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's my conclusion. Yeah, exactly. Um, I just wanted to add on one more thing. Um, if you have a bad scheduling policy as opposed to a bad dispatch policy, the ratio will be will scale with rho, and so will grow to infinity as rho goes to one. So just getting a factor of K is already non-trivial. Six. Okay, any other questions? Okay, if not, um, uh, thank you.